Hello, hello you guys, Dexter here and welcome back to my channel and as if you have seen in our title, this is going to be another haul of the things that I bought from Trader Joe's. They are right here and basically one of the, well, we're already back in Abu Dhabi because as you know, I really didn't have that much time to do any haul videos while we were in the, in the United States because um, I don't know if I've mentioned this in the previous video, but when we arrived in San Francisco, well, San Francisco airport, we went and took a bus to Sacramento, and then we were there for like three, four days roughly, and then we took a bus back to San Francisco, and then stayed like three or four days as well in San Francisco, um, like San Francisco itself. So. Um, I didn't really have that much time and by this time that you are watching this, well, I am already back here in Abu Dhabi and I think you've already seen us go through the places in San Francisco and the Trader Joe's that I went to was the one in San Francisco. Alright, so without further ado, let us go ahead and start this haul! First up is, of course, we got things from Trader Joe's and as I would tell you, every time I go to the US, one of the things that I want to do is to actually do groceries. Groceries in everywhere. I think you've already seen um, my haul from Costco. I'm not sure if you already did, but this time it's going to be Trader Joe's. The Costco that we went to was actually in Sacramento. But this time, the Trader Joe's that um, I went to was the one in San Francisco. All right, so it comes in this bag. This is the actual paper bag that it came in. But of course, I did not put it in the luggage like this. I put it separate and then just right here for us to experience this proper, proper haul for all of you guys, I placed it back into the paper bag. All right, so let's go ahead and start what we got from Trader Joe's in San Francisco. So, um, okay, one thing is, let me, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, while I was actually in Sacramento, I wasn't able to share this with you, but remember I went to, I don't know if you've watched my video, I went to Napa Valley. So inside the souvenir shop of Napa Valley, it was actually like super, Super good, Be going inside Napa Valley and also trying out um, doing wine tasting in the Napa Valley. Super, super good. So inside one of the areas that I went to is actually a gift shop. And with the gift shop, I actually got these. Like, I don't know why, but I don't, I don't get the, like, the connection between the wines and the soaps. But these are super, super good. Like, this is one of the soap. It actually says grape seed, grape seed soap, a gentle exfoliating and nourishing blend of wine, grape seed, and olive oils, cocoa butter, and crushed grape seeds. Sweetly scented with tuberose and sap moss. Made in the Napa Valley. That's what it says. So, like this is what we have. This is the first one. And then the second one, this one says white zifund huh? white zifundel a fruity antioxidant blend of grapeseed oil raspberry seed oil carrot seed oil rose clay and rose wine well i don't see much of a connection but that is how it is so i got that and then i also got um, a very very cute and they wrapped it very very well so I didn't have to wrap it before I put it in the luggage. This is where I went to. This is Castello de Amor Amorosa, Napa Valley, California. Um, this one is actually uh, like tile. That's, I don't know if this is print. I think this is printed, like printed on tile. And this is a coaster. So super, super nice. I so love it. All right. So that's just a bit of an insert of the things that I got from uh, when I went to the Napa Valley because I know I haven't shared that with you guys and I'm very happy to share it with you. Now, yes, to the main event of what I got from Trader Joe's. <laughs> so, okay. 
first thing that I got from Trader Joe's is actually this um, Trader Joe Lip Mask Duo. So I got this, it says, cho I think this choco berry, choco berry flavor. But this is a lip mask. It's like a leave-on, leave-on mask for your lip. Uh, use as needed to moisturize and soothe dry lips for external use only. So let us open that and then see. It says lip duo, but I don't know if you like use it as a, like uh, in different sets or it's just two pieces of the same thing. I think it's two pieces of the same thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just two pieces of the same thing. So it basically is that. This is, well, it says Choco Berry. So I don't know if like each one has a different flavor or they're both the same. This one is like brown lid. So maybe this chocolate. Hmm. It like looks like that. It does smell a little bit like chocolate, but not really Choco Berry. This one is like a pink lid. So maybe this is the berry one. Actually, they like, they look the same. I mean, look, I feel like they look the same or no, this is a bit more, the brown lid is a bit more chocolatey and then, well, the, the, I don't know, this pink lid is a bit more berry-ish. It's a bit more sweeter scent, but yeah, that's one of them. And then next one is actually one of my favorite almonds which is actually from Trader Joe's as well. I got this because I think the first time that I went to Trader Joe's was, I don't know if it was in New York or in Texas. I'm not really sure, I really forgot. But I was able to find this and then I tried it out and it's super, super good. It's actually almonds in Thai chili lime flavor. Super good, I so love it. All right, next one will be a this one I actually got wipes I know I know I know it sounds ridiculous but like I don't know why I just bought it <laughs> so I got um, face and body wipes which is hypoallergenic hydrates and soothe it is um, what do you call this cucumber and citrus it's like this so I got this because I know I'll be needing it. So this is how it is. It's face and body wipes. And I got two of them because you know, it's like grocery, grocery at its best. So I got two of them. Next one. Next one is actually my favorite one because I don't know if you know, like I cook my own food for every day and I do meal prep and all those stuff. So basically um, I try to keep things as simple as possible. And I find that in the US, they have so much more options that in terms of cooking makes things easier. That's why I got these things. So don't be surprised. <laughs> I have six different like flavor rubs or flavoring for food. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call me crazy, but sorry. <laughs> So the whoops, okay. The bag is already empty. There's nothing already. There's nothing inside anymore. But I got six different um, flavors, or actually flavoring, or um, what do you call it? But these are these are actually um, spices. Let's call it that. I really really use on a weekly basis when I'm cooking my food, and it really does make things simpler because everything is already mixed and I don't need to be thinking of what else I need to put. So, this is not paid for. I just wanted to share this with you guys because uh, if you are in the US, or I think this is already in Amazon that you can actually check on Amazon, they are very, very useful, all right? Let's start because there are six. Let's start with the first one. First one will actually be this one, which is the Mushroom & Company. This is multi-purpose umami seasoning blend. So this is how it is. It's not actually big. It's like, if you're familiar, a uh, familiar. <laughs> if you're familiar with McCormick, it actually is the same size as the McCormick um, seasonings. 
So this one is uh, Trader Joe's Mushroom and Company Multipurpose Umami Seasoning Blend, which is this. So this one is, it says, uh, ingredients is kosher salt, dried onions, ground mustard seeds, porcini, uh, porcini, <laughs> porcini mushroom powder, white button mushroom powder, crushed red pepper, black pepper, dried thyme. So you know how you know how easy it is to actually be using it because sometimes I just saute, like I put a little bit of oil and then I put veg and then just put it all over. You're all done. You're all sorted. The veg tastes good and there's not much because like sodium content here is 6% which is super super good. It's below 10% for me is super good. So I love it. It's it's a very very much of a time saver and I super super love it. I've been using this for quite a while. Next up is going to be the Trader Joe's Chili Lime Seasoning Blend. I love this. So with this I usually add this one. Sometimes if I need a little bit of a a little bit of a kick, a little bit of heat, I put this together when I'm cooking. But basically you can still add this with anything. Um, okay, this one, let me read what it says. Trader Joe's Chili Lime Seasoning is a classic sprinkle for fresh jicama, mango, and pineapple and is a delicious enhancement to grilled meat, which is super, super good. Now, remember if, if you are into eating mangoes and then you dip it on you dip it with salt or things like that, like all those sour mangoes, this is, as suggested, a super, super good alternative to it. All right, third one. Um, this one is um, Trader Joe's Cuban Style Citrusy Garlic, Citrusy Garlic Seasoning Blend. So this is how it looks. And then this one says, Consider this blend an homage to the mojo sauce discovered in Cuban restaurants around the United States. Use this like a rub on protein or veg for grilling, cooking on the skillet, or roasting. Anywhere you want a pop of flavor. This, actually this, I really really use for when I do fish because it's super super, it really is very citrusy. So it's super, super good. I so love this. Okay, so three down, three more to go. Okay, so next up will be onion salt, a savory allium blend with a touch of salt. So this is the one. Uh, it says, we've packed almost all of the alliums into this jar for you to sprinkle over eggs or stir into sour cream to make a delicious dip. This actually usually use this with this one, which is super, super good because it is citrusy garlic and the other one is onion salt. Super beautiful combination. So that. <laughs> and then we have the fourth one, which is Trader Joe's everything but Elori and I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Elogi Seasoning Blend with salt, chili pepper, cheese, chipotle, and cumin. So this is how it looks. And then with this, sprinkle this container onto basic corn cob, uh, turn into incredible. A roasted corn cob, a little butter, a little mayo, sprinkle, sprinkle, Elodi. So it's, it's actually a very good flavoring. Usually I use this when I have when I do like beef or something like that because what I love about it is the cumin for I don't know for me cumin onion and beef smells super super good and it tastes super super good so I usually use this with beef right now last but definitely not the least you have this one it's salmon rub now don't get fooled by the name. I mean, for me, I don't really follow as much just because it's salmon rub. I only use it for salmon. It says, um, lightly brush salmon with oil and coat well with Trader Joe's salmon rub before cooking. Don't be fooled by this saying that it's only it's salmon rub because 
I use it for any seafood. Like if I'm if I'm sauteing seafood, I use this or shrimp or anything like that. It's super, super good. It doesn't have to be limited to salmon. Like, I, I so love it. So these are, when I'm doing, let me see, are they in line? Yes. <laughs> so when I'm doing all my cooking, and look, they're like, I don't know, I think you can see it right there. Let's remove that a bit. I think you can see it right there, like super colorful as well. I so love it. And these are my holy grail in terms of my meal prep every week. I so love it. It's very convenient. As I've said, this is not paid for. I'm just happy to be sharing with you tips and tricks that I do to make your king to make your kitchen life easier. All right. So um, that is it. I hope that you did enjoy our. Trader Joe's haul and thank you so much for watching. See <laughs> see you on the next one. Bye.